and welcome. Welcome back to another one of Rusty Reactions. I'm Rusty coming at you with a reaction. Another reaction. Now, there's a lot of news going on around there on the internet. Star Wars news. And what better way to celebrate Star Wars news than to divide everyone, <laughs> split everyone up to the old and to the new. And that's what Disney seems to be uh, pretty good at um, so far. So we've got another thing here. Uh, another thing. Um, Boba Vett's um, ship is not going to be called Slave One anymore. They're going to move it on to the new and improved Disney era of Star Wars and call it... Boba Vett's Starship. Now, I've got an article here. Look, I'm not going to read the article too much. A lot of you guys have probably heard this to death already because every YouTuber, every article, every person who's remotely into Star Wars is covering this. I'm just going to give you my view on it. And um, I would like to think that my view would be similar to a, a lot of views out there, and it's just why. Why does Disney feel the need to change things because they feel that it's problematic or it's not appropriate for the new era of, uh, of fandom or, or whatever? Uh, my argument to that would be, who has ever brought this up? that Slave 1 is too triggering for them and they want it changed? That would be my question. Um, but I think in Disney's case, they don't need anyone to complain or they don't need uh, a hate mob as such to um, come at them on Twitter or anywhere else for that matter to have them change stuff. I think it's just the people that they're hiring they want to feel like um, they're in a position where they can, you know, benefit from their jobs with making decisions. And those decisions could be anything minor to them or major to them. It's just something that they can put on their resume that they've done. Now, me personally, if I had a resume, I wouldn't want this on mine. <laughs> just saying. But former Boba Vett actor Mark Anthony Austin, he's come out and he's, um, he's tweeted a tweet down below that uh, my ship will never be slave... Uh, my ship will, will forever... <laughs> sorry. My ship will forever be slave one. Nothing, not even Disney, can or will change that. And this is the thing with Disney that's pushing all its fandom into conflict is this old and new theory it it takes me back to when um kathleen kennedy sat down with george lucas when uh, george handed her the keys to star wars and and kathleen kennedy lied in his face telling him that um you know the most important thing is to respect what george has created and um have the legacy of star wars live on through the, his vision. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. And what he wanted from it. And um, Kathleen Kennedy has done everything but that. Um, which is blatantly obvious to everyone. You have to be a real novice in the world of entertainment and or even plus Star Wars fandom to not acknowledge that fact. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Now, um, if we go to the Lego official website there, you can see that it's got Boba Vett's Starship. It's all true. All of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so 
Boba Vett Slave 1 is going to be, in my view, is going to be slowly erased. Um, it's not given me no hope for the book of Boba Vett. I think, um, you know, for Disney Plus to bring out and have such a stance on such nonsense when it comes to, you know, modern modern day, modern era storytelling, that they're going to have Boba Vett as this, you know, um, bounty, ruthless bounty hunter that will stop at, no, uh, at nothing to get his bounty or revenge or whatever. So, um, I really feel fear for uh, Boba, the book of Boba Vett to see where they take him and what they do with him. But changing his ship from Slave 1 to Starship it's just probably a little bit of confirmation that um, the, the book of Boba Fett's not going to be what everyone thinks. And um, they're going to... Um, what does Ryan Johnson subvert everyone's expectations when it comes to uh, what they're creating um, as um, Ryan Johnson did to us with The, the Last Jedi? So, yeah, it's very unfortunate um, that Disney has taken this franchise and has just ran it into the ground. I've got no interest in it. I've done a couple of um, Bad Batch reviews. You can watch them. I've left them up there, but I've lo I lost interest in that. I haven't watched an episode since. It's just so boring. Um, the direction that they have it in... Um, and um, uh, put Amiga as the star character in there with a, a bunch of mercenary uh, Bad Batch clones. It's That's just my view. I'm sure there's people out there that like it. Uh, good for you. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing that Star Wars is producing that sparked my interest. The Book of Boba Vett with just more stuff like this coming out it gives me grave fears in the direction they're going to go. And um, on uh, Wikipedia, they've still got it as Slave 1. So it'll be interesting to see when they actually... Disney comes out with the whip and um, makes them submit and change Slave 1 to Boba Vett's Starship. It's just a matter of time, I feel. So that's the story, guys. Um, Boba Vett's uh, spaceship is now going to be called the starship um slave one is no more and we have to just get to use to the fact now what else are they going to ch change star killer base that's problematic um slave layer when she was with the huts jabba the hut you know that's problematic um where does it end in in a in an a imaginary world far far away universe far far away so i feel that um disney is just going to continue to chip away and i was you know when they brought out the force awakens i was so excited to have star wars back making motion pictures um i didn't think that it would fall as far as what they did um the sequel trilogy um is forgettable for me i I could watch it while doing the dishes, you know, have it in the background. But as for getting involved and getting submersed into that world, I, I just, there's just so much. Like, to not have uh, Leia, Han, Luke and Lando all in the same shot um, and have them spread out over the sequel trilogy just for, you know, just, you know, as lollies to get in viewership is just ridiculous. What they've done to Princess Leia, making her a, a, a flying Mary Poppins, um, killing off Han Solo and making Luke into be a, a hermit, um, alien, fish, boob-sucking, milk jockey is just... And as well as having space horses, nothing tells you, no, nothing more tells you about an exciting space adventure 
uh, more than space horses. But just to go to show, I was in six scale figure when I watched The Force Awakens. Knowing that I didn't like it that much, I thought it might grow it on me in the future when I seen uh, episode eight and nine. But I haven't brought anything since, uh, especially the way that Disney have treated all the fans, you know, turning on us when it's them creating these um, these pieces of entertainment for people to enjoy and just injecting their politics and their their agendas in there and getting writers in that are doing the same thing. It's just no one wants to live for today. They want to be in an imaginary world just getting entertained and I haven't. But this is just proof that I was in with The Force Awakens. I was in... I was happy for him to be creating. And um, now I couldn't give a rat's ass. And that's just the way I feel. Um, so I got my doubts. So I'm going to make this short. I don't know. How long has it been going for? I've been sitting here talking, drinking my coffee. Um, so, yeah. So this is just more evidence of uh, how much Disney's is uh, chipping away at Star Wars and just re trying to remold it into their form and 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 what they feel is a reformed Star Wars is not what I think it is. So that's my video, guys. What do you think about that? Uh, Slave One is gone forever. Too problematic. The name. Um, do you think it's just going to be for the Lego series? I don't think so. I think is this is going to be widely swept throughout everything, um, and um, the dis the disgraceful way that they're treating Star Wars is just continuing on, and it's not in George Lucas's vision, and it's not in respect to what George Lucas has created. Um, and uh, I worry for the Book of Boba Vett, and I worry for the Obi-Wan series. Now, with that, there's probably going to be more that I can do a video on later, but I just feel you know, I'm going out on a limb, but, uh, but Disney is going to show us another level of disgrace when they take iconic characters and iconic actors, Ewan McGregor, and just make them act in a way that, makes them pathetic and it'll be more stripping down stripping back the legacy of uh, of star wars i could be wrong i hope i am so that's my video guys hope you enjoyed it leave a comment down below what i should uh react to next and maybe that might be my next video so until that moment in time everyone take care bye